Do you know what is the memory of a human brain? Yes, this is what we are gonna discuss in this video. This video is based on the topic of the computer memory. And obviously, this would be the part of computer fundamental series. So without any ado, let us begin. The computer memory. Memory is the most essential element of a computing system because without it, computer cannot perform any task. Input data must be stored somewhere before processing and the processed data must be stored somewhere before sending it to output device. Well, in actual, the input data is stored in RAM before processing and after processing in CPU, the processed data is sent to the RAM and when the processed data is in the RAM, it is again forwarded to the output device. This is how we get the output. What is the RAM? We will discuss in the video later on. For storing the data in computer, medium is required which is known as storage medium or computer memory. This is obvious, a medium would be definitely required. The examples of some mediums are CD, DVD, pen drive, RAM, hard disk or cache memory etc. You would be thinking that what these are, so be patient, we will surely discuss these also. The smallest unit of memory is bit, which is either 0 or 1. Only two symbols are used for storing any kind of data in the computer. The data may be text, graphics, pictures, or movies. All these data is stored in the form of zeros and ones, which is binary system. For example, the character A is stored in the computer in the form of 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 because only two symbols are used for storing any kind of data in computer. So computer is known as binary device. The memory units. One byte is equal to 8 bits. Here, for a layman, it may be assumed that one byte is required for storing one character and character may be capital A to Z, lowercase a to Z, mm. numericals 0 to 9 and special characters like question mark, at the rate, brackets, etc. One label is equal to 4 bits. One KB or kilobyte is equal to 1024 bytes which is 2 raised to power 10. In our daily life, one kilo is said to be 1000 but in the computer language it is said to be 1024 there is a reason behind it because computer is a binary machine so the figure 1024 2 raised to power 10 1 mb or megabyte is equal to 1024 kb this is 2 raised to power 20 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabyte 1 TB is equal to 1024 gigabytes which is 2 raised to power 40 1 petabyte is equal to 1024 TB and 1 exabyte is equal to 1024 PB which is 2 raised to power 60 1 zettabyte is equal to 1024 exabyte 1 yottabyte is equal to 1024 zettabyte which is 2 raised to power 80 now let me give you the answer of the question which i asked that question was the memory of a human brain so the memory of a human brain is approximately 2.5 petabyte or PB. If we compare it to the memory of a computer, so usually a computer has approximately 2 TB of memory. 
as you heard the comparison the human brain has more memories now comes the types of memory memory is of two types primary memory and secondary memory now further these types of both primary and secondary memory are divided into more three kinds primary memory has ram rom and cache memory or cache secondary memory has magnetic storage optical storage and solid state ram may be static ram or dynamic ram and rom may be pro ep rom or eep rom magnetic storage includes floppy disk tape drivers and hard disk whereas optical storage includes cd dvd and blu-ray disk solid state includes pen drive memory card and ssd in this video we'll be discussing only the primary memory but we'll also discuss the secondary memory in our next video primary memory memory which is directly accessed by the cpu is known as primary memory let me tell you an interesting fact the picture you can see is the picture of the cpu yes you would be shocked by hearing me that what am i saying is this a cpu yes this is actually a cpu various types of primary memory are cache memory ram and rom ram and cache are volatile whereas rom is non volatile now what does the word volatile mean volatile means that contents stored gets lost when the power is turned off the contents from volatile memory are alive only when the power is turned on ram random access memory ram is also known as main memory it is volatile as i told you data on ram is safe till the power is turned off once the power is turned off all the data present on ram gets destroyed the capacity of ram in pcs laptops or mobile phones vary from 2 gb to 8 gb whereas higher ram is also available in high end computers now let us see the two kinds of ram which is dynamic ram or dram static ram or sram for your better understanding i have created a comparison between sram and dynamic ram dram is made up of transistors and capacitors whereas sram or static ram are made up of transistors but no capacitors dram need to be refreshed every few milliseconds but there is no need of refreshing in static ram why because capacitors are used in dram whereas no capacitors are used in sram dram has more capacity whereas sram has less capacity dynamic ram is less expensive and static ram is more expensive dynamic ram is slower as compared to sram and static ram is much faster as compared to dynamic ram now why is dram very slow it is because it needs refreshing of capacitors and it takes a lot of time 
there is a high power consumption in dynamic RAM, whereas there is very less power consumption in SOM because of the capacitors used in DRAM. The need of refreshing after every few milliseconds consumes power and evolves heat, so there is high power consumption in DRAM. Cache memory. It is integrated into the CPU, so it is also called CPU memory. Volatile memory. It has very high speed semiconductor memory, which can speed up CPU. This is because CPU can access cache memory more quickly than RAM. Why? because it is made up of semiconductor material it acts as a buffer between cpu and main memory this memory or cache memory stores the data which is being repeatedly used by the cpu cache is in limited capacity of around 3 mb to 12 mb depending on the type of processor and its cost Cache memory is very expensive, so we cannot replace RAM. ROM Read only memory. ROM is also termed as firmware. It is non volatile, that is, data is permanently stored on ROM even if the power gets off. ROM stores such instructions that are required to start a computer that is booting of computer. Booting of computer means process of starting computer. The instructions stored on ROM are referred to as bootstrap loader. The name is given as loader because the programs in ROM are used to load the OS or operating system from hard disk to the RAM. It is known as read-only memory because only read operation is performed. Write operation is also possible but in special kinds of room which we are going to discuss now. The types of room are p room EP room and EEP room. The P room Programmable read only memory. Data can be written only once. The process of writing on P room is sometimes called burning the P room. When we write something on CD or DVD, you must have heard somebody saying that we are burning the CD or DVD. EP room that is erasable programmable read only memory. EP room can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light for a duration of up to 40 minutes. Even the bright sunlight can erase the contents of EP room. The last is EEP room, electrically erasable programmable read only memory. The EEP room can be erased by exposing it to electrical charge. This room can be erased and programmed thousands of times, as many times as you want. Thank you guys for watching my video. Our next video is computer memory part 2 in which we'll discuss the secondary memory thank you for watching my video please like and share my video and subscribe my channel